Hey you guys, and welcome back to the Jacob Hexa channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made this cosplay broom. You can use it for your Kiki's delivery service, Mary and the Witch's Flower cosplay, or any cosplay that you have planned that's witch related. Alright, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start with kind of just a standard broom that you can get at your local hardware store or Walmart. And we're going to cut the strings off of it. And if it's got a metal band around it, you're going to just need to slide that off carefully. After we've kind of freed the broom corn fibers, we're going to go ahead and wrap a string around it to make sure it's secured in a round shape. And we're going to add even more security by hot gluing around the string. Now I'm just taking this raffia hula skirt that I found at a thrift store during Halloween time and I'm going to just start gluing bundles of the grass to the actual broom. We're going to sort of glue it about halfway down the length of the grass just to make sure these first couple of layers are really secured kind of in close to the broom. And then after we get those first couple layers done, we're going to add additional layers, about three of the stocks that you see me applying and we're going to just start gluing the outer layers about a fourth down so that they can sort of provide a little bit of volume like you see in the Ghibli movies. So now we're going to take our tacky spray and we're going to spray it onto the grass that we just applied to the broom. I know I'm kind of covering this, but what do you expect when you come to a dumb person's channel? And you also want to be using gloves for this because we're basically going to be hairspraying the grass and then brushing it with our fingers into one direction so that it doesn't flop around when you hold it up or to the side. All right, so now we're gonna actually glue more grass bundles to this broom, but we're gonna start gluing them the opposite direction. So just do like a couple of those around, and if there's any gaps, then be sure to fill them because this part is really important because this is gonna be the outermost layer of the broom. After we've got all those pieces glued down, you're going to want to go ahead and start to kind of flip them over and then glue them to the base of the broom. So now this is going to be where the broom starts. So it's got to look really nice. After you've done this on all sides, you're going to go ahead and take it back outside and spray it with your tacky spray to make sure none of the pieces flop around. Now we're going to take some spare grass stalks and we're going to just take them and wrap them around and tie them into a tight knot. You do want it to be tight because you do kind of want like a puffiness between the layers. And after we've secured those on and tied them, we're going to just secure them on even more with some tacky spray. If you were just using this tutorial for like a basic witch broom or for your kiki cosplay, then you're done here. If you're doing Mary, I'll show you how we're doing the outer broom skirt. Alright, so I apologize in advance for this part of the tutorial because I pretty much just eyeballed this whole thing. So this might be a little bit confusing. So I first am draping the fabric over the broom. I knew I wanted it to be a length of 12 inches, but then I wanted to have about two inches of leeway of the width of the broom just to make sure I'd be able to gather it and get some nice gathers around it. Now we're going to take that cut piece of fabric and we're going to draw some lines on it so we know where to paint later. So I went up two inches, drew a line. I went up three quarters of an inch, drew a line. Then I went up another three quarters of an inch and that's going to be our first 
line that we paint. Then I go up another quarter inch, then another quarter inch, and then that line that we've just created is gonna be another one of our lines that we paint. Then we're gonna go on the other side of it, and we're gonna go down two inches, down a quarter of an inch, and then down another quarter of an inch, and that's our one line on the top. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now we're going to take our three quarter inch ribbon. We're going to sort of measure it out along the length and make sure that we have at least a half an inch on each side so that we can fit some ribbon through later. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and sew down our ribbon just on the outermost edges of both sides so we can fit our ribbon through later. Then we're going to sew our skirt up the side seams and hem it all. All right, so now you see why I've left the half inch on each side of the ribbon so that we have this space here that now we can fish through a thinner ribbon and make it go all the way around and we're gonna fit this over our broom. We're gonna tie it not too tight, but a little bit tight. And then after we've tied that ribbon, we can just cut it off and make sure we burn and melt the edges so that they just stay all nice and tight. All right, and that's it for this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Go ahead and leave comments if you have any suggestions for future videos. And don't be afraid to leave that bell notification on because I may or may not have a tutorial for this wig coming up soon. Well, that's all. Thank you and ya matene.